everyone and welcome back to my channel and today i'm super excited because this was at the door when i came home and this is actually my first flat iron that is high end all my other flat irons have been drugstore so i'm super excited to see how it performs on my really long hair uh, and it is the Lucia, Lucia ID, uh, yeah, Lucia ID, and it's supposed to, like, um, you're, su it's supposed to be, like, a smart technology where you could pick, you can program it to your hair type, so it's supposed to identify your hair type, but honestly, I don't really care about that, I just wanted, like, a high-end flat iron and I looked up a bunch of videos on it and I saw that this one was really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and open everything up and then let's get started. Okay, so I managed to get it open and it has a really long wire. Um, And let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. And I'm super excited because, like I said, this is my first high-end flat iron, so I really don't know what to expect. So right away, the little light comes on when I plug it in. And let me look at the instructions. Okay, so to turn it on, you hold it. Look how cool that is! And it lights up. Okay, so now we're gonna set our hair tight. Okay, honestly, I'm having trouble understanding. Ah, I see. So here I have the little buttons and then you have to tap it. Okay, so I have really long hair. So I'm gonna put it on three. And then texture, fine, medium, coarse. I would say I'm medium. Okay, and then I'm going to I'm going to tap power button to toggle between PID and manual mode. Okay, enter either refresh mode. I'm going to now lock it. Okay, so I locked in my ID and I'm waiting for it to heat up. But where is the temperature? This is a learning curve for me. I don't know, I'm not getting it right away. Okay, so I'm not a professional reviewer or anything, but honestly, I was looking through the instructions and um i can't find out like how much like what temperature are these little dots it just says that there's nine heat settings so i mean i'm honestly a regular joe schmo and i'm not about to like be going through a bunch of videos just to figure out how hot this is so that's what i don't like i don't have like a temperature on on here i just have these like little dots but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and give it a try with the recommended um ID with a recommended hair ID and see if it works for me. If not, I'm just going to use it in manual mode, which is what I intended to do anyways. And it doesn't feel that hot. So I might put the heat up a little bit and let's see how it works. Is that my hair is so long that... I can't get all of it in the camera. But I'm just using a wooden brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and start straightening my hair. I am going to put a little bit of dry shampoo in my hair because I have oily skin. I have acne prone skin, oily skin. 
and my roots get really really oily and it's only the second day i washed it yesterday and they're already oily so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna use petite batiste dry shampoo and honestly this review is for like the regular average person because I'm not professional at all right now. I literally just got home from work and I was too excited and I wanted to film like a fun video reviewing the flat iron. But yeah, I'm just not liking that it doesn't tell you the heat setting on it. I don't know if, if I'm doing it wrong. I just kind of have to scoot you guys back because my hair is so long and I want you to see how it comes out okay so I'm just going to divide my hair nothing special let's see if let's see if this is going to be hot for me Okay, so I just passed it two times, like, without noticing that I did it, and wow, I'm actually really liking that heat setting. Um, this is a three pass. It's not pulling my hair. It's super soft and shiny. Okay, so my dad just calls me in the middle of my video. But yeah, this is pretty accurate. Um, I think I would like it to be a little hotter. So let me see how I, this is a learning curve for sure. And I'm like the kind of person where I don't really read instructions, <laughs> but I cannot find how much are these little dots, like these little lines, like how hot does it get? Okay, to go to manual mode, I need to... Okay, so I want to go to manual mode right now because I want to just make it more hot. It's not working, you guys. I don't know. Like, ah, this is hard for me. Okay, so right now I'm in manual mode. I had to literally read the instructions because if not I, I would have been super lost so i just kind of set it to seven and it goes up to nine okay so when these are like these are solid it's time to style so now i have it on seven i think before it was like on five or six so i just wanted to raise it a little bit Okay, so so far from like an average consumer, you have to like really um, sit there and read the instructions. Like it's kind of not intuitive. I mean, at least for me, but I mean, I, I don't mind it. Once I got it figured it, once I figured it out, I didn't mind it. And so I just did two passes on this. Um, but I would like for it to be a little smoother. So that my thing is, is that when I'm here, I just want to raise the temp. And I think you have to unlock it and raise the temp. Screen, you hear a locking sound. So I think I have to unlock the screen and then click here oh, okay that's easy and then double tap to lock it again okay so now it's heating up okay so i'm getting it now but this is manual mode so this means that it's heating up and then once it goes solid it's ready to be used in the new heat setting honestly i don't really see myself using the hair id too much I just want to use it and go and see. So now it's ready. So I, I figured it out. I figured it out. 
because there are some times when like I don't I use more heat than other times like if I'm doing weights or something like that then I tend to use less heat so here I am here's what it looks like So it's looking pretty good. I mean, it's looking pretty good. I was using such a cheap flat iron before this that um, it wasn't holding. It wasn't holding the straightness to my hair. Like later on in the day, it would get puffy, and it would kind of look kind of wavy because I was using like a really cheap one from like Marshalls or something and the reason why I was using a really cheap one was because I was saving up to buy um, a really nice one like this so I hope that it's that it's worth it you know I hope that I'm really going to like it as time goes on and I'm a, I'm a type of person that I do pass over my hair a lot so I feel like I should just raise the temp, honestly. So let's raise the temp again. And then I'm just going to tap here. So it's at the top now and then I'm going to lock it. So now it's heating up. And yeah, I mean, that took me some time to learn, but I got it down packed right now. And I'm waiting for it to heat up at the highest temp. I think I do have to use the highest temp because um, my hair is so long and I still feel it like kind of frizzy and it's ready to use. The thing that I don't like is I wish I could have seen somewhere the actual temperature. Like it just says one to nine. So I have to Google it. Like, and I don't want to have to Google things. Like why can't it just be like, more prominent somewhere. I don't know if it's just me. Maybe I'm blind and I don't see it in the instructions. But so far, so good. Like I don't feel it putting my hair at all. Um. So yeah. I'm passing over it less now because it got hotter. So I think I do because my hair is really thick as well. So I think I do need the highest heat setting. And one thing that I do when I straighten my hair is I really make sure that I get the back. Like I just go and I just go only to the back and I just make sure that it's straight back there. And then I come here and I just curve it in like this. And yeah. I am smelling that the hotter it got, it's actually like smells like it smells like like it's like there's heat, you know what I mean? Like that heat smell. So I don't know how I feel about that either. I might lower it again if I feel like that it's too hot now, but we'll see. Got to kind of get used to the heat on this new device because I don't know like what's too hot, what's not too hot. So the next thing, a little trick that I do when I'm shading my hair is I just get the back piece, not the sides. So the next piece that I got was strictly in the back and I divide that into two because these pieces um, take me the longest. So I wanted to show you guys my old flat iron, which is this like, I don't even know the brand name. It's literally just from Ross, but this is what I was working with before. It's from Gem. I mean, this was like super cheap. And honestly, I liked this one because you could see the temperature clear as day when you hear it, when you heat it up, it tells you the exact number of the heat. So I just wish, like for my own preference, that Lucio would do that as well. But I'm actually really going to look into it. 
like if if it says it more or less what is one through nine like what does that mean i have to find it somewhere but honestly like i don't really want to do that right now like i just kind of want to grab and go that's just kind of like my personality like i just want to just get things done so i'm just working on the back piece of my hair So yeah, I'm going to just time lapse you guys. You could really smell the heat now that it's all the way turned up. And I do have to get my ends cut. I see that there. Okay, so I just really make sure that I get the roots at the top. Um, this is at the high highest heat setting but like you touch it here and it's like tolerable like I, you won't like burn yourself like some flat irons so now what I do is I come to the back I come to the back over here and I just make sure that I get the roots because you don't want like a kink in the back of your hair. And that's what I'm always checking for and just kind of bringing in the hair inward so it's not like, you know, just straight. And then I have to do this side and I just kind of work on it from there. It's really hard to show you guys because I have to back away for you to see the hair because it's too long. But I just make sure to get close to the root. I feel like I'm flying through my hair. Like I feel like I'm doing it so fast, which is what I wanted. Like I don't want to be here for too long. Wow, this is like taking me super quick time. Super quick. Okay, so now the next thing I do is I take the sides. That's just kind of how I do my hair. I take the sides. And it's going to be super quick because I already did all of the back. So the next layer is the top. Only the top. So that's kind of how I do it. So right now I'm doing the sides. I just push that to the back. See that my, my front layers are a little shorter. And I'm just going to town. It's really smooth. It's not pulling on my hair at all. It's super, super smooth. I feel like I'm flying through my hair. Like, I feel like it's not taking me long at all. Get close to the roots. Getting to the roots, getting to the roots, getting to the roots, getting to the roots. So now all I have left is the crown of my hair. And it's just the sides because I already got the back. That's kind of like my trick. So I'm going to do one side. I kind of do it like really, really quick. Like I like to do my hair quick.
So I'm seeing that I only have to pass, like when I focus on a piece of hair, I only have to pass once or twice. But I feel like if I really concentrated, like if I sat there and went like this, I would only have to do it once. I want to give you guys a close up at what the what it looks like as I'm sliding it through the hair. So it's pretty tight. Pretty pretty tight. There's a little bit of smoke coming out. I feel like smoke comes out when I press on it hard. When I'm not pressing on it hard. Okay. When I'm not pressing on it hard, no smoke really comes out. And my hair doesn't smell like burn. You know how like some hair, some irons leave your hair smelling like burn? Mine doesn't smell like that. But it doesn't smell like, you know, like it smells like I, I, I passed an iron through it. So I'm gonna be getting through the roots, getting through the roots. And what I do, a little trick is I just pull up like that. And a little another trick for this long bang that I have here is I'm going to merge like this little piece of bang with this piece of hair here. And I'm going to like merge the two together in a little wave. So it has like a flip like that. So it doesn't look dead. So it kind of flips. And now I just have one little piece left. I don't have, I have been trying this petite stretch shampoo for a short time and I don't like it. I don't know why everybody like there's great reviews on it and Amazon. I feel like it's very hard to blend out the white. So I just have this one piece left. So this took me like 30 minutes, not even, not even. So everything is there. It it was super fast. Okay. And you can see the back. Okay. You can see the back. Okay, so I am going to put a little bit of avocado on my hair. Avocado oil. And I only put it at the ends. And you could literally just buy this on Amazon. I bought this on Amazon. It has lasted me months. And I just put it on my hair. And then also, and then also, I'm going to spray this perfume on my hair. I do it right after I iron it so that it doesn't smell like the iron. But yeah, and this is one of my favorite smells. This is from Sephora, it's called the Clean Line. It's really, really good. This one is Scent Perfume. It's Radiant Nectar, Radiant Nectar. All right, so let's see if I know how to power this off. So to power it off, you unlock it and then you unlock it and then it shuts down. Super high tech. Okay, so my final opinion on this iron is that every time I pass it through the hair, I felt like I was flying through my hair with this iron. It only took me like 30 minutes to iron my hair and you've seen how long my hair was. But it, um, on top of that, my hair is like wavy. It's not like hard to straighten. Um, another thing was, it was a bit of a learning curve for me. Um, I'm like the type of person that I don't really like to read the instructions. So I was like, kind of like, how do I use this? You know what I mean? So I had to like pause and figure it out, pause and figure it out. 
And another thing is I don't really care for the hair ID. I just want to use it manually. Um, anyways, I wanted more heat. But once I got the hang of it, it was easy to use. Another thing that I didn't realize was that they don't have the temperature on here. They only have the little lines, one through nine. So I have to figure out how hot one through nine is, like how hot two is, three is, four is, and five. I have to look it up somewhere, I don't know. I was looking through the instructions, but like I said, I didn't see it there and I wasn't about to like keep looking through the instructions. I wanted to use it, I was too excited. So that's like my realistic point of view. Um, also, I really liked that the plates here don't get too hot. Like if you touch it by mistake, like the top part, you won't like completely burn yourself. So it was super, super nice. I invested into this, it was like 230 something dollars and the plates were super nice um, and everything worked really well. Um, the only thing is that I put it on the highest, highest heat setting and I just felt like you could then smell like how hot it was getting, like it had like a scent. Um, but also my hair is not as, like it's thick, but it's not like super coarse. Um, so maybe, I don't know, you could just smell how hot it was getting. So that was pretty interesting. My hair doesn't really smell though. That's the thing that I'm looking for. It doesn't really smell. Right now it smells like the avocado oil and the perfume that I put in it. Ready? Yes. Show you something. Okay, I'm coming. My dad is trying to talk to me, but all right, I'm done with this review. I hope you guys like it. I'll catch you in my next video. I really, really liked doing this review because, like I said, this is my first high end flat iron. I've always had drugstore iron, and it is such a big difference for me and it's such a big deal for me. Um, I just graduated college and i just got a really good job and i decided to splurge and to get myself something really nice and i'm really happy that i did because my other one was super cheap and my hair was like too long for it and i'm really happy with this product um the only thing i wish like i said was that it showed the actual temperature there but i didn't realize it when i was shopping for flat irons i was between this one or the ghd platinum plus i believe and that one only heated up to one temperature setting. And I'm like, no, I can't invest into an iron that only has one temperature setting. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys like it and I'll catch you in my next one.